Okay, today is August 24th, 2017. And I'm going to try to remember to put the date on here, so... Um, because we're getting so many videos that it might be hard for people to sort through them and uh, tell me what they're talking about if they refer back to them. So I'm going to try to put the date so uh, it'll help solve that problem. And uh, listen, I want to talk a little bit about sleep. Now, a lot of humans and quad entities talk about lucid dreaming, astral projection, uh, all that kind of stuff. Now, considering I've only been doing this for like three months, and anyone who is really following me who relates to me, it was tough for you to find me on YouTube, guys. It was tough. If you don't know that, with a lot of you came in, what, when I had like next to no subscribers, uh, very few videos, it is a huge world out on, y on uh, YouTube. So you have to understand, you have to believe, you have to see that even now, uh, the, the fact that you found my videos is pretty amazing. That was you doing that. You found me. You asked the universe, and the, and the universe put us together. You know, I had an asking, you had an asking, and the universe put us together. But it was your doing. It couldn't have happened without you. It isn't happenstance. It's you doing it. Okay? So everybody who's been relating to me, especially so far probably up to uh, 500 to 1,000 people, it's going to be pretty tough to find me. So I would say that you guys are, uh, I don't want to say strong star seeds, as in that you're better than any other star seed, but um, I don't know what else to use. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, you benefited or we came together for whatever reason. I'm going to use strong because that will cause all kinds of problems. So I'm not going to use stronger. But definitely there was a very big reason for that. Now listen, remember I told you that all you had to do is be born and stand on this planet and you're helping Gaia? And that is true because you vibrate higher just naturally. You just came on the planet. You're vibrating higher. Your feet on the ground as she changes and goes higher just helps period she can do it without all of us she doesn't need it, us at all we're doing it because we want to help her not because she can't do it by herself she can 100 percent, she can do it herself in many different ways but we're doing it because we want to help her and uh so that's what you're doing you're standing with your feet on the ground now the other part of that is so I've told you, it doesn't matter what you do. You could be a king, you could be a pauper, you can be a drug addict, you can be a, a head of a Red Cross, if Red Cross was doing the right thing. <laughs> you could be the head of a really good organization. You could be any of those things, and you'd be still doing the same good for the planet. However, there's more to this story, and that is what I touched on on, I think, my last video, or one of the last videos, and that is what you're doing when you're asleep. Now, frequently, star seeds cannot lucid dream. They cannot uh, astral project. Uh, they frequently can't even remember their dreams, and there's a reason for that, because you put a block on yourself, because all of you have massive jobs when you're asleep, massive jobs. If if I could explain it, which would be almost impossible to explain, if I could explain what you do when you're asleep, you would be awestruck uh, with the things that you are doing. Um, they are things that are energetically based. Uh, you are not in physical form, of course, when you do them. Um, you're outside of time-space. The only time-space that you relate to is really operating with your physical body going back into your physical body and uh, you're setting up energy grids uh, energy hot spots um, if you're older uh, like me or older then you were involved in the original lattice work of the energy grids uh, very tough job very very tough job um, which that was kind of wonky and wobbly took some trial and error uh, really to figure out how the humans were affecting the energy on the planet and how to work with that 
or against it, <laughs> as need may be. Uh, but there's a lot of, uh, I know one person uh, who is on in our group who came specifically to uh, bring Divine Feminine back onto the planet um, in a big, big, big way. It's a big job. I know another um, one of our group who came to bring Divine Masculine back to the planet. Uh, there'll be there's many more of those two groups, but uh, they're few and far between. There aren't a whole lot of them, and uh, I was very pleased to be able to meet one of each. Very very happy to see both of them on the planet. Uh, then there's all kinds of other energies that some named by humans, some unnamed by humans that you guys do at night. Um, frequently that means that sometimes you will wake up feeling more tired than when you went to sleep. Uh, if you had a big day on the other side, uh, you do not remember them because if you do remember them, you wouldn't come back into physical form. Uh, you would just say, oh no, I'm not doing that anymore. I'll just leave physical form and I'll do this work from outside. So you don't want to do that so you don't remember them frequently. Now if you do dream, usually it has to do, if, and if you remember the dream, usually it has something to do with your conscious or subconscious mind. It isn't about the other side. So if you're having even dreams that seem like they're from the other side, they're not. They're your subconscious mind trying to deal with your human existence, which for all of us is a bit tricky for multiple reasons. So I want you all to know that, that uh, you are working on the other side. You are working at night. Now the bad guys wanting to interfere with you, part of the reason why they switch you, switcheroos, uh, starseed, I love that, switcheroos, starseed, I can't even say it, switcheroos, starseed, switcheroos, starseed, okay, say that three times fast without messing it up, but I love that, some of you uh, being switcheroos, starseeds, starseeds, and <clears throat> the bad guys will switch you into a bad family, uh, they'll mess with you all different ways, all different ways. And frequently, whatever they do to mess with you will cause your sleep cycle to be screwy. And the reason why is them messing with you physically, oh, that's okay, you do vi vibrate higher, but that's not what they're getting at. They're getting after your ability to do what you do when you're asleep. So the less sleep you get, or the less good sleep you get, uh, for instance, they they say that you need six to eight hours of sleep a day. Well, star seeds very very frequently. If you're doing it right, if you do a good job, you're going to go ten to fourteen uh, easily. Some will go on occasion eighteen hours. Well, all of society is going to tell you that there's something wrong with you. They're going to give you medication to wake you up. In reality, the work that you've done over there, you either need a set up time or a diffuse time and that in the human body to try to get you back assimilated with the human body because of the work that you're doing outside of the human body. So all of you are leaving half of you, the half that is the human body consciousness, when you sleep and you're working, you still are, you still are. Now, who was it? Spirited MZ, what happened to you whenever you woke up and you were floating above yourself? You caught yourself and woke up before you were fully back with your body. Uh, the reason why you haven't done it again is because you went, uh-oh, well, that that's not right, can't do it that way, and you corrected it so you wouldn't do it again. Um, so don't uh, start thinking that if you don't astral project or you don't lucid dream or whatever, whatever, then you aren't as enlightened as others. That's not true at all. Uh, <laughs> Not true at all. You have put a block on it. You've also put a block on, most of you have put a pretty severe block on where your home is. And like I said, you've always been, you will always be, you don't have an origination point. But you do have a place, an area, or actually several, that you consider the equivalent of what a human would call home. Where you prefer, where you hang out with your friends. Uh, you do have that, and you've got a pretty severe block on yourselves for that, because otherwise, again, you would just, just like me, you would twinkle and go home. Okay? 
Um, also, one other thing I want to talk to you about. Yesterday, I put up a video with this sliding scale thing. Okay, I want to add to that. Now, you take that sliding scale video. Well, you know which one it is. And you take that sliding scale. Now, the same thing can happen with the job, the people around you, uh, your loved ones, your friends. So, if you're sliding up that scale, but they're still down here, you're, you're going to be outside their realm. And when you are f right at cr the top crossover, when you're uh, feeling, ah, uh, they're going to be feeling wonderful. You guys are going to clash. You're going to clash. Everything will clash. And then the step after that is you won't even be able to reach them. That is when your lives fall apart. That is when people that you've loved your whole life disappear or you have a fight or... Uh, something. Something will happen. And that's all that's happening, guys. They haven't gone anywhere. Now, you can correct that by visualizing an aspect of all those things before you get out of range. You can visualize um, you can visualize them being at a higher vibration. A better person. Better job. Uh, the business that you work for was sold to somebody else and now they're a much better person they run it better does that make sense if you can believe it if you can um, intend it with enough energy you can actually correct all those things but it's tricky when you've lived with these people uh, for the way they are for a very very long time it's very tricky to see them as something else something better than and you are, you're going to see them in a different light as you raise the vibration you're going to see them as a lower vibration so if you can pay no attention to who they were and visualize who you want them to be the aspect that you want them to be you will go to a timeline where everything does not fall apart but because things are moving so fast, you're moving this very fast, and really, you're on a planet that's moving fast, and you're going with it. Your human consciousness and understanding and belief system, and old belief systems and intents, are not keeping up with these changes. So, don't beat yourself up about it if you don't get it done. You can do that, though. You don't have to lose them forever. Just say, okay, outside of their realm, I need to go to a different timeline. I do want them in my timeline. So I'm going to visualize them as being higher vibratorily. And then they'll come back into your life magically. They'll go out. They'll come back based on what you create, what timeline you go to, what you believe in. In the meantime, as the old ones fall apart, guys, really stay focused on being happy. Don't pay any attention to it. Listen, everything in my life fell apart. Uh, multiple times, but on the other side of the falling apart part, falling apart part, on the other side of the falling apart part was a more, was a better life, was more what I wanted. And even then when I got to the more that I wanted, even it would fall apart as I raised vibration. But always I've learned, it, it's fallen apart so many times now, I've lost so many people that I loved. Uh, horrible things have happened to me that at this point now when things fall apart I am not going oh man another one I lost and I'm not doing that now I'm looking the other way going okay yay what does this mean this means something cool is gonna happen this means that I'm falling apart from here that means I've done a good job raising my vibration something more awesome is right around the corner I just need to keep my eyes open for it and it happens every single time and it will for you too it will for you too. Okay, that was quite a bit of subject matter on one video, so I'm going to put a, a halt on this. Uh, my phone is up and running again, so I've rescheduled everybody. Um, uh, the visits will be shorter until I get caught up from yesterday, but um, bear with me, guys. I'm trying to uh, talk to everybody's comments, emails, and phone calls as fast as I can. Uh, probably this week sometime. What day of the week is it? I never know. This coming week sometime I'm going to take uh, a few days off and uh, uh, really see if I can organize my book. Um, uh, I may do some videos before. Maybe have the kids drop them every day because I know y'all 
uh, use these videos to keep your vibrations up. I can feel it, and that's fine because I use your vibrations to help me uh, feel good, uh, to keep up, keep me going on days whenever I'm kind of dragging. Today's my son's birthday, and if you guys have followed my videos, you know that uh, my son, who's my firstborn, uh, was kind of a, a way for the bad guys to get to me. Um, uh, he's a reptilian, and I didn't figure it out till uh, just a couple years ago. So that's been a tough one for me. So his birthday, this is his first birthday. I will not be. I had to, to disconnect from that energy, as you know. Uh, it worked for a long time. It was a smart move on their part, very smart move on their part. Uh, but I know who he is. I know the role that he's playing, and that's all good. But I cannot interact with him at this point. We are way different in vibrations at this point. And uh, it's kind of tough. So understand, I I understand what you guys are going through. I really do. Um, you just know a few of the things. And I'll let you, I'll tell you about them. You can know anything about me that you want to know. I'm an open book. Um, good, the bad, ugly, the wonderful, the joyous. Uh, good hair days, bad hair days. Uh, <laughs> all right. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. And uh, uh, big hugs. I love you all so much. And uh, hey, you guys need to look up these lists of what day it is. There's a whole bunch of like, do something nice for somebody. What what day was it? August first, Stephanie? That was be nice day. Oh, and congratulations, New Jersey. Because I saw that there are, what what do the signs say, Steph? Smile and have smile a nice and day. have a nice day signs in New Jersey. Awesome signs. Way to go, Tara. You had everything to do with that. Take credit for it. August fourth is do something nice. No, October fourth. Okay, this one's coming up. October fourth is do something nice for someone day. And October 5th is say something nice. Okay, put those on your calendar. Remind me later in case I forget so that we can do those things all day long. Anyway, look up these cool things. Uh, I think there's something on each and every day to celebrate. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Stephanie just found this for me. She's awesome. Uh, I countered their reptilian son with my awesome starseed daughter. So... And it worked, too. So, she's awesome. Y'all will meet her sometime. I'll, she'll, I'll, I'll drag her around with me, and, and you can meet her. She is stupendously awesome. All right, guys. Um, again, huge hugs. I love you bunches, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.